Hello Sheet Metal Power Users, this is Alim Vargato from uh, Trimax Solutions and in this video we will go in depth inside one of the most powerful tools in sheet metal that allows you to close corners. So if you're looking on the part on the left, I have this opening. Uh, this looks pretty ugly. You can see how nice uh, the end result is. If you are not familiar with this tool, you have to do a lot of manual work with extrudes and uh, a lot of modeling. Fortunately, the close corner command is already in sheet metal, it's very powerful, but it has one little aspect that a lot of people are not familiar with. First of all, the way it works, we need to select two faces to be pushed towards each other. It's very important to be aware that the order of selection matters. So for example, if I'm selecting this face first, SolidWorks automatically tries to find the faces that would match this face. And you can see here options for um, bringing this together. I can have the bot option and I can specify the gap between them. As you can see here, all kind of options for overlapping, overlapping one versus the other or, or bot. The most interesting option here is selecting if you want to leave the bend region open or closed. All right, so the question is, what do I do here? Because I, if I check it, obviously it's gonna leave it open. If I uncheck it, you think it's gonna close like in the previous part, right? So notice I'm unchecking it, I'm clicking, okay, what do you see? It actually doesn't get closed. So that's why I'm saying the order of selecting that faces matter. If you want to close this, do not select the face that has a flat face attached to it first, right? So notice in this field, this is the first face that got selected. Let me unselect it and let's go the other way around. I'm going to select this one first. Now, because I'm doing it again, SolidWorks no longer offers to select the face to match. I have to do it myself, right? So you can see the result. The preview doesn't really show that the fact that this is going to be closed, but take a look at the result. Right, very nice solution. So remember that the order of the operation matters and you should always start with the one that is actually flush with uh, the band. If you have any type of extension, this should be number two. So this is number two, this is number one. And now you know how to close corners like a pro.